All right, today I'll be explaining how to play Flesh and Blood on Tabletop Simulator on the computer. Um, hopefully I'll explain it well enough that uh, it will answer any questions or any future questions that come up whenever people are watching out of our videos. Um, yeah, so first of all, you want to actually buy the game. Uh, so through Steam, you have um, Star Page, Tabletop Simulator, might a thing, sometimes on sale, sometimes not. Um, after you get it installed and everything, you go to workshop and type in, uh, let's see, flesh and blood. And it will come up with this uh, results. You wanna get the flesh and blood OSC mod, um, subscribe to this. Once you get that, uh, you can start it up. And once you go to create, single player, multiplayer, doesn't really matter, create server. Uh, under workshop, this is where it's going to have the, um, uh, the, the mod that you just downloaded or subscribe to, um, yep. Load this and you'll be in the game. So basic stuff, uh, to start off, you want to press forward slash, and this will bring up a bunch of commands or hotkeys, um, sorted by sections, obviously. Um, if you ever need to refer back to it, then yeah. Just press forward slash and you'll feel referred back to it. Um, right. So camera movement, I use WSD most of the time. You can also use middle mouse button to press and hold and pan around, uh, right click to rotate, um, and zoom in with, uh, scroll wheel. Zoom in is up, zoom out is down or uh, back. And if you ever need to reset your camera, you just press space bar. Um, right. So to. Uh, create objects. So these things over here are just bags of infinite objects. I uh, just click and drag out of it and it will create an object. Um, to rotate something, uh, you press Q and E, uh, hover over it, or you can select it using the left mouse and Q and E will rotate it. Um, the amount of degrees you rotate it by is denoted by this value up here, uh, the rotation degrees. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, so now that is 90%, you'll see that I'm rotating everything at 90%. Um, to increase the size, you just press plus. To decrease, you press minus. Yep, you can follow along on the screen. And let's make some dice. So, oops, I deleted it. Delete is a delete button. Uh, increase the size here. To copy something quickly um, or make more, you just select it. Press Control and then uh, Control C, then Control V, copy paste. You know, the usual. Um, to gather, yeah, you can select multiple stuff by making a box. And to pick it up, you do left mouse, press and hold left mouse, and drag it around like that. Um, yeah, you can select a single object, obviously, or you can select multiple objects using the box. Um, to roll a dice, um, you can select it or you can hover over it. You also do this uh, menu where you right click it and it will come up with this uh, roll. Um, yeah, and then you press R and it'll roll for you. Uh, if you have it selected, you don't have to have the cursor on it. If you don't have it selected, you have to have the cursor on it. Um, yeah. Next up is locking an object when you want to lock an object you want to press l or you go through this menu uh toggles lock uh when you lock something you can't interact with it so um you can't move it i guess you can still interact with it because you can press these buttons but you can't move it or rotate it or flip it anyway right so now that we get to importing the deck hopefully you have a deck um on fabdb there's going to be the url just copy that um paste it into here and press this fabdb button and from there it will import your deck now that it's imported the deck for you uh select everything using the left mouse button uh rotate everything using q and e and then uh obviously move it with left mouse um since all these are face down you want to start flipping stuff over um press f to flip a card over um if it's a stack of cards like this uh, this says this is a stack of four cards. It says four right there. Um, if you flip it over, it will show the bottom one. If you want to look at it, uh, you do search and like this. As you saw, Arcanine Skullcaps on the bottom. So the furthest to the right or 
bottom, whatever. So this is the topmost card, and then it goes down that way. Um, yeah, so to get cards out of a deck, uh, just click and drag, and that'll take the topmost card. If you hold, press and hold left mouse, it'll pick up the whole deck, and then you, it'll take the whole thing as a single object. So let's just get these in a position. Um, so for these decks like this, sideboard and main board or whatever, uh, right click search. You can type in certain cards like this, oops, sync, sync like this, or miraging. And you can click and drag out of the deck and that will pull the object out of the deck. Um, yeah, to shuffle a deck, same thing as rolling a dice. It's just uh, R. You can shuffle multiple decks at once as well. And yeah, when you want to draw cards, let's just move this over to the deck area. Who cares, not 60 cards. Um, let's say you want to draw four cards, you press four. Hover over the deck, press four. Um, then they'll uh, bring it to your hand. From uh, This hand is uh, only you can see it. So if it was the opponent, it'll be all face down like that. But when they drag something out, yeah, they, you'll be able to see it. Um, right. Um, if you want to draw like one card, you press one. If you want to draw two cards, you press two. If you want to draw three cards, you press three, etc. Uh, if you want to draw 11 cards, you press 11 or one twice. Sorry. There is no 11 on the keyboard unless, I don't know, maybe you have a special keyboard. All right. So now that you have cards in your hand, um, let's say you want to play a card. Uh, so click and drag it, clicking and dragging with the left mouse will drag it out of your hand and move it onto the battle area arena. Um, yeah, uh, let's say you want to pitch something of, you can click and drag single cards or you can press and hold left mouse button um, and right click to pick up two cards. So that'll pick up two cards. Uh, that's also useful for cleanup later. I'll show you guys that later. Um, so yeah, then you just drag it onto the pitch zone um, to clean something up, to clean up the pitch zone, rather. Uh, it has to be fully stacked into a deck, and then you press Enter. Um, it will go exactly as ordered, and it will just uh, be automatic. Go like that. If you want to do it the way I do it, since I really hate this button, uh, I always have it covered up because I accidentally press it all the time. Um, have it loosely stacked. It can't be in a stack, so this will be a deck of two. Uh, it can't be like that. So it has to be loosely stacked like this. Press and hold left mouse button, uh, flip it over, and hold the right mouse button, and then you can drag under. So if you saw, uh, there is a lift distance, which can be modified with this lift height. Um, higher will make it higher, etc. cetera. Uh, I like to keep it low because that, that's more accurate when placing stuff down. Um, when you press the right mouse button, it will lower the card and that way you can slide it under. Um, if you have multiple cards like this, uh, the order is somewhat random. I don't really know how it determines it. Like usually it's, it's pretty, um, usually it's pretty similar to what it's shown here. Sometimes it's not, I don't know. Uh, I don't really care about my pitch on TTS, so I just do whatever. Um, and I guess, uh, when you want to arsenal something, you press and hold the left mouse button and drag it into the arsenal slot. Um, obviously you should flip it over first because if you don't flip it over, they will be able to see it. Uh, so let's say that they have this haze bending. So if you drag it out of their hand or if they're dragging it out of their hand, putting it into the arsenal zone, as you saw, um, it's face up. Uh, so it's very highly recommended that you press F before it leaves the hand. That way it'll be coming out face down. And to see this see this card, uh, you press Alt and then Shift. So Alt will zoom in onto the face up portion of the card and uh, Shift will make it look at the bottom of the card. Uh, if you do this to a deck, it will look at the bottom card of the deck. So if you're trying to scry, or sorry, if you're trying to opt, um, you have to click or get the cards off manually and then search or you can spread it around and then you can just look at them manually um yeah and let's say you're playing chain who just vomits a shit ton of cards onto the combat chain uh 
Uh, I'm just trying to, let's say, oh, they have something in banners. I don't know where they put it. I don't know. Let's just have it say it does, it's like this. Uh, you can select everything and press G. That will gather all the cards. And then you can just click and drag over into the graveyard. Or, or you can do the same way you do pitch. Or you press uh, left mouse button and you click over each card with the right mouse button and I'll pick it up. If you pick up too many things, you press alt and then right click will drop the last picked up item. Yep. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just uh, leave in the comments. Hopefully this answers any questions that people had um, watching uh, our videos, watching me play and hopefully just get a you guys just get a bunch of muscle memory and be faster than me. I don't know. Bye.